I don't know what it is, but um, somebody did this parody of Whack 100 on um, YouTube where he was uh, literally in bed, butt naked. It's a cartoon. He was butt naked in the bed and his wife was going to leave him. But she, um, you know, she retracted that statement because, you know, he had paperwork on her and, you know, he has paperwork on everybody. And I want to just flat out say this, that um, I'm a snitch as well. So I was telling my mother that if I decided to ever be a rapper, which I don't want to be, I want a real career. It would not really work in my favor because I have paperwork, you know, taking somebody to court as well. So it really wouldn't go my that it really wouldn't work out for me. Now, if I did like gospel or maybe like a spoken word, I don't think they would care. But I want in this video, I want to tell you when I realized that I am just like everybody else, I'm no different. And I'm talking about black people in my community. And yeah, I'm saying this because you know this probably if you watch this channel, my my entire mindset has changed as time has um progress you know i um i fostered you know not really just a like a let me say this i don't just have a white way of thinking a black way of thinking i really think was white what what excuse me what is right i said what's white what is right what i feel like is right and Everything I make on this channel is 100% real. You know, I, I've i experienced a lot last year. And I've also learned, if you look at the title, like I said, I'm just like everybody else. I'm no different. Because when you go to a different city, different state, maybe a different country, they don't they don't care who you support as a president. Uh, if you are against crime. I don't care about that. I've come to learn the reality of this. I've come to learn that police are just there because it's their job. And it's not really, it's not really that they want to be police officers. A lot of them, a lot of them are attracted by the benefits that come with being a cop. It's not who will want to be a cop. It's like, would you want to serve in Vietnam in the Vietnam war? If if you if you uh if you had like a time machine and you knew all the all the psychological damage that Vietnam vets had have to deal with today that are still alive, would you really want to go and serve in a war like that? Probably not. But people are attracted by the benefits of being a cop. But I don't. I bet at this point, as of now, I don't hold them to any higher standard than what they are. They're just regular people like me and you. Um, I would show you this video. I did take. The second time as cop, the same cop, he decided to question me after I was walking from the hospital. But it's kind of giving away a little too much information about me. So I'm not I, I do have that video on private. Maybe one day I'll um, make it public. But um, I did not show any kind of like submissiveness to that police officer. I was not in no way buck dancing for that cop. I asked, I answered what I felt like I should have gave him, but I did not, I did not really, I was very like mindful, very cautious of his presence because it's not that being black, I just feel like I'm supposed to be scared of cops. I don't like that. I don't like to just, you know, bow down to a police officer. And one thing I want, I'll never understand is this. And somebody please explain it to me. How come you could be, you know, in a neighborhood where the, wherever you are, be Chicago, L.A., Philly, New York. Y'all see somebody who don't who doesn't belong in the neighborhood and you will you will press that person for no reason at all. But if it's one cop car that pulls up on the block, all you motherfuckers run for nothing. You all run. I don't do that. I had a, I was walking to the store one time and a cop circled me. First it stopped and then it circled me. And I didn't bother like running or like turning around because I don't give a shit. I'm not, I, I know I don't have nothing illegal on me. 
And I'm sounding like I, I, I'm sounding like my first video I put on the channel, but I'm not running. What is this? 1865. I'm supposed to just run like I'm some damn escaped slave from the South. And that's the slave catcher. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not running. But according to this video, I'm, I'm trying to say is. I realize and I'll just explicitly say it. I realized I was black. I realized, and I'm not going to say the N word, but I realized I was, I was a black person when I worked at a job and my white coworkers were not very, um, they were not very upright with me on anything, you know, because I went to uh, the worst state you can go to. People call Wisconsin, Milwaukee. They call every city in there. They say it's a very segregated city. I'm not going to debate that. I'm not going to really get into that because I, I made it very clear. I understand why why people, they choose to just be around their own race. I, I made that very clear where I stand on that. But I, I came there after they just had a trial for 18-year-old who um who shot you know two people two white people in self defense he got off with it and i had a shirt by him i supported him but it's like i don't know where i stand on that now like obviously it's hard to one thing people will never understand it's just very hard to um it's hard to not look at race being black because Obviously, I, I I believe that he was right to um, defend himself. But you know what's, what what just floats in my mind? Well, if a black man did that, right? If he did the same thing, would you have all the support from these conservatives? Who who's to say that that it will work the same way? Or um, people will, the other argument is it looks stupid you supporting this this clown when a video came out of him. Um, putting hands on like another girl, a black girl or something. So it's just like one thing I don't want to do because I have more self-respect for myself. I'm nobody's cheerleader. And I think a lot of conservatives, black conservatives, they're no threat to the black community. They're no threat. Like I I still like Candace Owens. I still like, I I have her book. I like a lot of things she says. They're no threat to the black community, but it's like, I don't really, I don't really see what 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 the Republican Party has to offer, you know, I don't see what supporting Donald Trump has to offer for black people when you have a black community in every city that looks like shit. And what I've I've come to learn is this. I'm gonna I may do a part two.